camera action. I love the fashion. See me on TV, laid back, relaxing. Camera in my face, I am the talent. Bring it on, bring it on. I love a challenge. Before the High TV, and I do have the pleasure of speaking with artist and entertainer, Mr. Aaron Batia. What's up, what's up? What's up? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you. And tell us, Mr. Batia, what do you do? Oh, man. I do everything from A to Z. I'm an artist, uh, a realist. Um, I'm in love, or I'm infatuated with nature. Okay. Got those vocabulary in there. <laughs> Look, people know I'm an artist. Lovely. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I try to show people the other side of the grass, you know. Um, people normally always see stuff for the end product mm -hmm. instead of um, what you had to go through, all those mistakes and failures before you get to the, you know, to where everybody sees you, that front page or on TV, that people are like, oh, he's famous or he made it, you know. Right, right. Um, I want to be that person that is still able to relate to everybody. Um, Although I know I can't help or save anyone in the world, yeah. uh, what I want to inspire and have my message from my art beat mm -hmm. is simply to know that anything is possible. I want to believe in self, mm -hmm. but to know that no matter what I do, but if I can look at this piece of art and be inspired enough to seek change mm -hmm. or to make a difference in the world, then I feel that my job is met because wow. I've been able to change someone's life. That's my biggest thing. Wow, being an inspiration to others. That's the biggest thing. Wow, that's deep, that's deep. <laughs> and uh, tell us, I've seen your artwork and it's absolutely amazing. Tell Thank us you. about the background of those pieces. Um, man, where do I start? Okay, rooted awareness. Really going deeper, you know, than actually, uh, I work with children as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I was teaching them about the earth, the crust, the layers of the earth and all that. Mm -hmm. And um, the more I think about it, the more you kind of figure out who do you want to be? Right. Who are you? What is it that you want to invoke in others to make them or bring out the best potential in them? Right. Um, Anytime people always say, oh, I'm going to get a job, you know, yeah. when in all actuality, it's not necessarily a job, it's um, an assignment that you're given, you know, right. and until you fulfill that assignment, you have to, I don't want to say stay there, but make that mark, leave that, you know, that ending, that image of who you are, what you want to be, and what makes you so rememberable to pretty much the world. Um, luckily for me as an artist, because mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people, if you think about it on a deep level, mm -hmm. I want to be remembered forever, you know? Yeah. You think about it, who are the people that are remembered forever? Artists. That's true. That's true. And you can think of it however you want to. Everyone has their own opinion. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, there's art still all over the world. The artist may have passed, but their work still exists. You know, no matter what, through decades, as long as it's preserved. Right. I want my art to be preserved. I want people to understand that whatever the artist was thinking, mm -hmm. it touched me somewhere, somehow, to make me want to do something better for myself or for the love of others. Wow. So That's, wow, okay. That's I never thought about it from that angle. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, and tell us, uh, you actually just recently graduated. Yes, yes. So um, how was that, like, entering into the workforce? Uh, what made you think, like, I just want to put my artwork out here. I want to work with the children. <laughs> You're doing a lot of things to just um, graduate. So. Man, actually, it, it's it's always been a, a, a hustle, if you will. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I was 17 when I left uh, California, and my mom was like, you can't stay here. Um, the environment's bad, mm -hmm. the people aren't, you know, where you need to be at. They're not going to influence you, they're not going to bring you up. So it was college or get a job or get your own stuff together. Okay. So I went to college. Uh, I was originally in Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, then I transferred out here to Johnson C. Smith University, okay. where I will be uh, walking this May um, with my bachelor's in graphic design. Wow. Um, and all I ever heard or saw was push. Mm -hmm. Always keep pushing, mm -hmm. never stop. Um, Something about me that uh, a lot of people really, you know, don't know just from seeing me. Mm -hmm. I've experienced death six times, uh, wow. exactly. You know, six times. Yeah, and each of those experiences, it wasn't. I don't want to say nothing bad, mm -hmm. but I had to be sat down by the higher power because I was doing too much. Oh, wow. So I had to be corrected in what I was doing mm -hmm. in order to make the change that I needed to to get to where I needed to go. Everybody in the world has a purpose. Right. I just needed to stop rushing to get things done. When you rush, you oftentimes miss stuff or mess up. So yeah. if you're able to go ahead and just calm yourself, mm -hmm. center yourself, life will be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> It'll <laughs> be a, a lot simpler. Mm -hmm. And that, even with my art, mm -hmm. I don't want to rush. I don't want to just make art for the sake of making art. That's right. not being creative. That's not being organic in what you do. Right. My purpose is to make sure I make something that people could be like, oh, wow. Yeah. Let me change it this way. Let me change it this way. I'm looking at it upside down and I see something completely different from the piece that I just saw. Right. <laughs> That's creativity. Yeah, when I look at your artwork, I'm just like, this is amazing. Like, just analyzing <laughs> it and really looking deeply into it, it's just, it's a lot. And Definitely. It's, it speaks a lot of different things on it, one piece. Another major thing is, I wanted to make sure I could attract each and every audience from you know still life paintings uh -huh. to surrealism, abstract expressionism, um, cartoon illustration and design, muraling, whatever the case may be. Who can I reach and how can I insp uh, inspire others gotcha. to go ahead and do the same thing if not better? Okay. Um, I wanna create a program for African American males okay. that wants to be involved in visual performing arts. Mm -hmm. So uh, a major thing that I wanna do is really start building that up so that I can get you know African Americans in the community to figure out what they want to do in life um, nice. and change everything that they see as a negative and turn it into a positive. The only reason why it's a negative is because they either never had it or they weren't able to bring it out of them because no one told them they had it. Gotcha. So inspiration. <laughs> All about the inspiration. Definitely, and I think it's definitely. Wonderful what you're doing with the community and with the children as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and being an inspiration to others through your artwork. Um, and I know you do a lot of other things as well, yes, yes. like the videography mm -hmm. and um, graphic design, yeah. just to name a few. Yeah. So tell us, where can we find um, information about you? How can we get in contact with you for your services or mm -hmm. you know, other opportunities? Um, well, you could definitely uh, follow me or even contact me via email okay. at uh, AaronBTheArtist at gmail.com. Okay. Um, you could go on my Instagram, uh, artist. Aaron Batia, okay. um, as well as my website, AaronBatia.Weebly.com. Okay. I'm also coming out with a, a gallery website strictly for all of my art. Wow. Um, so that'll come out in the next uh, month or two. That's um, a must-see. <laughs> definitely, <Yes>. definitely. Um, <laughs> Surprisingly enough, my birthday is actually March 22nd, so... Okay. Happy early birthday. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. I'm really excited. Um, I want to step out and do something really big. So I'm looking for a, a gallery mm -hmm. um, to pretty much hang up all my artwork wow. and really bring the year in real strong um, and just get people to see my work. So, wow. Definitely. That's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, gonna it's going to be huge. check you out. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely invited. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. No problem. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you definitely check out. His his artwork is amazing. Trust and believe that. And before the Hype TV, thank you so much for watching. It's been real.